All right, from everyday men and women to small businesses and multinational corporations, the team at Style Matters International can help you perfect your style. In fact, their goal is to help you realize that your image is your brand. Good morning and welcome back to The Blend Style Maven and Chief Consultant of Style Matters, Tara Lampert. Good morning. Great to be here, as always. Yes, yeah, so, so glad to have you here. So before we get started on loving our clothes, mm -hmm. we have a big announcement to make. We We're going to announce the winner of the contest that you held last time you were here. Yes. Go ahead, refresh everybody's memory on what you were offering in the great contest. Well, you'll see coming up on the screen, we, the question we asked was what is Pantone's color of the year for 2011? And the answer is honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, which is a really pretty kind of a there pink you go. fuchsia color. Yeah, a really pretty color. It actually refers to the stamens of the honeysuckle plant, the ah, color there. Ah, okay, so people had to email you the yes. correct answer. Yes. And we had, out of all the correct entries that we received, we randomly drew one. Mm -hmm. And drum, drum roll, the winner is Jeanette Montero. So congratulations, Jeanette. And what has she won? She has won a personal color analysis consultation with me personally. All right. So, so hopefully she's watching this morning. I she hope now so. knows you're going to be in contact with I her. I will be in contact. Yes, Star Mass will be in contact with her very soon to work out all the details. So all well right. done, Jeanette. Well, let's uh, move on to something that I love, this yeah. idea of loving our clothes, kind of in the spirit of Valentine's mm, Day exactly. month. So, you have some great tips on this. How does this, why, why do you suggest this? What well, we you know, we, we spend money and time on, on choosing our clothes, but we don't always care for them in the way that we should. And, you know, if we, if we love our clothes, they love us back by lasting and be, you know, stay good looking, which is actually bond can be some, <laughs> some love affairs. Um, so, so that's why really. Um, and one of the things that we need to do is, is really take care of those. There's lots of things we can do. Um, my, my pet hate mm -hmm. is actually the coat hanger. The coat hanger. The, this okay. particular coat so hanger. So this is what we do not need in our closet. The wire one. I don't want to see them in closets. <laughs> Clothes are really not meant to hang on these. No? Um, you, you know, long term. If you do, you're going to damage the shoulders and you're actually going to cause marking. They're really only meant for the dry cleaner to have them, you know, to you in good condition. As soon as you get home, you need to rehang them. So the, you brought some good yep. examples of, of hangers that you should have. Yeah. This is a, a great hanger with a smooth, rounded edge. That's great for shirts and tops, all sorts of things. That's, that's sort of an everyday mm -hmm. hanger. For jackets and anything heavier, you need something with a broader shoulder here to support the weight of the padding in the shoulder. For a coat, you need something even broader on the shoulder line. That's important to support the shoulders. Uh, for something like knitwear, which I don't advise that you hang, um, it's always better folded. But if you're limited for space, you may need to, to hang it. And this one, if, if you see here, if you touch that, it's actually yeah. slightly rubbery, so things don't slip off. But you can only really hang light knitwear if you do choose to hang, never anything heavy. Um, skirts can be hung on these, and you can hang pants on these too. And a tip. Uh, I would always advise when you hang pants, whether you do it on a, this mm -hmm. type of hanger or one of these clamp hangers, hang the bottoms, put the bottoms in the clamp or the clips. So put the hems the together, pants the bottom of the pants okay. where the hems are, fold, fold the legs together and hang them full length but the bottoms of the trouser go in the clamp or the clips. And the weight of the pockets and the waistbands, particularly on men's pants, will help pull out any creases that you've got during the day. Before we move on to the bra segment and what we should be storing those, I want to talk, because this oh, yes. also pertains to eyewear and how you take care of that as well. Yes, it does. Yes. So what do you suggest for that? Right, that, mine are on my face, and mm. my great glasses, as you know, come from Edward Biner in Naples, and I want to look after them. And you know, when they're on your face all the time, it's not so much of a problem, but if you're constantly taking them off and putting them on, that's where the danger lays. And one of the things you should never do is put the lenses straight down on a hard, hard surface. Mm -hmm. It's the, the first way of getting scratches on them. Um, when you clean them, you want to use the optical cloth that you're given by the optician, and ideally the spray. If you don't have a spray, then moisten them first, uh, the lenses first before you clean them. But don't please be tempted to use your clothes mm. to wipe Bob glasses. Go, yeah, because again, you'll, you'll get little mm -hmm. scratches from dust that's in your clothing and, and you know, you'll never be able to remove them. Let's go on now to underwear. Do people hang their bras? Well, be believe it or not, I've seen closets full of bras all hung. It looks wonderful. I know, but it you know, nice, but I don't <laughs> how practical. many of us really have the time to do that? But I've discovered this great little thing called a bra bag. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually designed for travel with your bras, and you can stack 
um, up to about five or six bras in there and particularly for the molded cup ones which you really shouldn't fold uh, this is you know fairly hard mm -hmm. so you can stack your bras in there and then you just close that and snap it shut it's got a little handle so you can just put that in your suitcase when you're traveling and protect your bras but it occurred to me that if you're limited on space you can actually keep that in your closet or even on your dresser because it's pretty enough to do that but it's a great thing and it's, it's by the bra uh, the brag company it's called oh, the bra right. bag it's great well we're out of time now but I w this one here this is a great idea to wash your bras in yeah. instead of maybe the mesh bag yeah. which you just put the bras in there it's not a device for the mm -hmm. cat to play with you put the bra <laughs> in there like that. that goes in the washing machine protects the bra and protects the washing machine as well well if anybody has any questions where would you send them please go to star matters international mm -hmm. dot com we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have